children. Hope you have enjoyed the weekend. Yes, very good children. And also done the homework. Yes, that is assignment which I have given for you to complete. Yes, very good children. You are all very good children. So you have completed. Yes. Then today we shall revise the whole month. What we have learned the concept. Yes. Today we shall only revise the concepts which have learned so far. What we have done in this whole month, we shall revise that children. Only the revision is there. Just I will give the brief of everything. Yes, that is the concept which we are learning about the shape, letters, numbers, colors and, and other brain session also. Yes. Okay. Now before starting our session, what shall we do? We should start with our prayer. Yes, all of you, join your hands, get up children, join your hands, close your eyes, start with the school prayer. Little Ellie, little Ellie, little Ellie is my school. Oh, I love it, oh, I love it, and you love it too. I can play, I can sing, I can read and write you. I can draw, I can dance, and have fun too. It's my best friend. C for cat, C for cake, C for car, 
C4 caterpillar. C4 crab. C4 clock. So these are the letters which we have learned in the discover coding books. Now I will show you one activity to trace the letter A. How you will trace the letter A? So you can use the clay for tracing this one. So take a small amount of clay for tracing the letter A. So first you have to make a slant line. You also do this children at home. You will be able to understand the how to trace the letter A. Slant line, slant line. And middle one what line with the sleeping line. Yes, this is the big letter A. Next we will go for next letter. Yes, very good children. Next letter is what? B letter. First you have to trace the, sorry this is not visible. So I will take this color only. Yes. So take small amount of clay and raise the letter B. Yes. This is letter B. For B letter you have to draw first right standing line. Then curve line. This is A, this is B. You also can do with the mama's help. You try children. It is very easy. Just you have to make it straight and make it curve for C letter. Yes. This is C letter. C. Is it easy? Yes, nice now. How you take the A letter with using the clay? First standing line, standing line. Sleeping line makes a A letter. Next, standing line, curve line, curve line, and a, makes a B letter. This is curve line. Make a C letter. A B C. A B C. Like this, you can use the for letter review. You, you can use uh, activities. That is, you can do with the clay, paper collage activity. Yesterday I showed you, and painting also on the letters. These are the some of the which is able to understand for you the letters easily children. So big letter A, small letter A, big letter A, sorry, big letter A, letter B, big letter A, big letter A, small letter A, big letter B, small letter B, big letter C, small letter C. Now what is the phonic sound of A letter? A. What is the sound of A letter? A. What is the sound of B letter? B. What is the phonic sound of C letter? K. Yes. Now, after this we have learned one patterns. Now, which are the patterns? Yes, can you recognize the patterns I have taught for you? Yes, children? Patterns review. Next is patterns review. Yes, what are the patterns we have revised? First is sleeping line. Yes, this is the sleeping line. Then, slant line. Then standing line. Next zigzag line. Then curve line. Yes. Then U curve. Yes. Once again, repeat with me. Standing, uh, sleeping line, sleeping line, slant line, standing line, zigzag line, curve line. Half, uh, half curve line. This is U curve line. And this is the wave line. This is the wave line. These are the patterns we have revised. Yes. One is review of letters. A, B, C. We have learned this one. Second, the patterns review. That is sleeping line, slant line, standing line, zigzag line, curve line, U curve. And wavelength. So these are the in pattern we have learned. In letters we have learned A, B, C. Okay children, we we'll go for next concept. Yes? Very good. We'll
go for next answer. Next we go for the for what? Letters. We have revised letters also, pattern also. Next we go for the numbers. Yes. I think now you are able to count the numbers from one to five now. Yes, children. Very good. So we have learned the numbers. One, two, three, four, and five. So we have learned one to five numbers with the counting. No? Yes, children. We have learned the numbers one to five with the counting. Now I shall revise once again the review of numbers from one to five for you. Yes. Can you tell what number is this? This is number one. One for one. One for one. And can you count on this picture? One for one apple. One for one apple. Okay. Next. After one which number will come? Two. This is number two. Two for two fingers. Two for here. One, two. Two jellies. Can you count? One, two. Two for two jellies. Very good children. After two which number will come? Three. This is number three. This is number three. Three for how many flowers are there? One, two, three. One, two, three. So three for three fingers. Three for three flowers. One, two, three. Very good. Next. After three which number will come? Four. This is number four. This is number four. Four for four eggs. Yes. Can you count? One, two, three, four. Four eggs. I have four fingers. See, I am showing here four fingers. Four eggs. Yes. After four, which number will come? Five. This is number five. This is number five. Five for what? Can you count five fingers? Yes. One, two, three, four, five. Five fingers. Can you count this card? One, two, three, four, five. So five for five cards. Five for five cards. Five for five fingers. Yes, now we shall revise with this review of numbers one to five. We shall review review with the pictures. I have put some pictures. Can you see, children? Yes, up to you. Can you visible? Yes, very good, children. What is this number? This is one. One for how many fish I have put? One fish. One for one fish. Next. What is this? This is number two. Two for two apples. Count. One, two. One, two. I have here two apples. Picture. Next. What is this number? Three. This is number three. Three for three cards. Count. One, two, three. One, two, three. Next. What is this number? Number four. Number four. Four for how many lotus man has put here? Count. One. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four, four, four lotus. Next, after four, which number will come? Five. Very good, children. We have to count like this. Using the small objects which are available at home, like beads, button, pencil, crayons, blocks. Like that, you use a simple thing and count and show to your mama. Up to one to five. Yes. Next, what is this number? Five. Can you count with me? One. Two, three, four, five. Five for five pencil. Five for five pencil. Yes, once again tell the number. One for one fish. Two for two apples. Three for three cars. Four for four lotus. Five for five pencil. One for one fish. Two for, can you count? One, two, two apples. Three for three cars. Can you count? One, two, three, three cards. Four for four lotus. Can you count once again? One, two, three, four, four lotus. Next, five for five pencils. One, two, three, four, and five. So these are the review numbers I have done. I have taught for you now with the counting. Same thing you also should do at home, children. I think you will do yes. Yesterday we have done the activity about uh, number 5 that is you have to trace the number with a kundan stone, paint, anything you can do. I 
and use for the counting of the number. Now we shall sing the number song. Yes, number song one. Now one two five. You are number one. You are number one. One fish. One you and one me. You are number one. You are number one. You are number two. You are number two. Two apples. Two apples. One you and one me. Yes, you are number two. You are number two. Next, you are number three. You are number three. Come and count with me. One, two, three. Yes, you are number four. You are number four. Come and count with me. One, two, three, four. You are number four. You are number four. Yes, you are number five. Next, you are number five. Come and count with me. One, two, three, four, and five. You are number five. You are number five. Come and count with me. One, two, three, four, and five. Yes, very good. Like this, you should count the objects or pictures, children. Yes. We move to next concept. Yes. Yes, very good. Now today only the revisions of this one what we have learned. Next we we'll go for the shapes. Yes, yes, children. We have learned one shape now. Which is the shape? Can you tell me? Round and round. Yes, that is. That is. Very good. Circle shape. This is the circle shape. Yes, I will show you the few objects of circle shape. Yes, yes. See children, this is a circle shape, round and round. Circle is in this shape, round shape. It has no sides, no ends. Circle is in round shape. Circle is in round shape. Can you give the example of circle? Yes, yes. I will show you. This is the coin. Coin is in which shape? Circle shape, and it is in round shape. Next, this is a tape, and it is also in circle shape. It is in round shape. And children, you like to eat the biscuit, no? Yes, this is this is the Oreo biscuit. In biscuit, you will find so many circles. That is, good day biscuit, sunfish biscuit. Oreo biscuit and marigold biscuit. So there you also you will find that it is in circle shape. Yes, very good children. Next, Mama will put one bag for you in the hand. Now what should put? That is a bangle. Bangle is also in circle shape. It is round shape. And one I will show you here. This is the ring. Ring is also in. Circle shape. It is in round shape. Circle has no ends, no sides. Shall we see one ring on circle? Yes. I am circle. I am circle. Round and round, round and round. No sides, no sides are there. No ends are there. I am circle. Sorry, first we learn yellow, 
colors we have learned. So I will revise. You please identify the red, yellow or blue and show to your mama. So you will be able to understand the colors. Yes children. Very good children. We will move to the next concept. Yes. Okay. We will move to the next concept that is guess and animal tail. Today well, I, will be, I will teach you one small fun game. Guess and animal, animal, animal chain. Yes. Children, I will show you the, have you seen the animals, any animals? Yes, which animal you have seen? Yes, dog. Have you observed the dog? How is the tail? Yes, it has twist like this dog. Yes. Now I will show you the few animals for you. You should recognize and recognize and tell the tail. Tail and tail mahe bala. You are bala na nalle recognize madi hair beko. Okay? Here I will show you the tail for you. Hmm? You should tell me the which animal is this. Yes. Children, can you observe? What is which animal tail is this? Yes? That is dog. Yes. See, see? This is the tail of the tail of the dog. Once again, you see the tail of dog? Yes. This is the tail of dog. We will go for next animal. Yes. Next animal is children. Can you identify this which animal? First you observe the tail. It has a long neck. Yes. Long neck. Which is that animal? Yes. That is giraffe. See, this is the tail of giraffe. It has a long neck and a small tail. Yes. This is the, the animal which has a long neck has. What animal? That is called giraffe. This is the tail of the animal. Yes. Next we will go to another animal. Yes. Children, this animal is very naughty. It will jump from one tree to another. Yes. Yes, it will make so much of sound. Which is that animal? Can you observe? Can you tell? Which animal is this? Yes, I will tell. This is the monkey. Monkey. Yes. Very good children. Next. I will go for next animal. Yes. Yes, animal. yes children. Tell me the tail. Can you guess and tell? This animal is the king of the forest. This animal is the king of the forest. Which animal? Name the name. Tell the name of the animal which is the king of the forest. That is lion. Yes. Can you identify the tail? So, the king of the forest is lion. Can you see the tail? Yes. Very good. Next is it, is it lives in the forest. Yes. It has a sharp teeth. Yes. It fight with the other animals. Which animal is this? Can you find this is also wild animal where it lives in the forest. Yes. See the tail children. This is tiger and it is a national animal. Yes, tiger. So you can see the tail? Yes. Yes. Next is last, that is not least. This is very big animal. Yes. Which is that animal? It eats sugar cane also. Yes. Can you find? Can you tell? This big animal. Yes, that is elephant. Yes. Elephant. This is elephant. So these are the Animals I have shown with the tails. You can watch in the Discovery Channel or the YouTube. You observe that the tail of the animal. You can find out the different tails of animals. Animals. Yes. Yes, children. Now we will revise some frames. Yes. Open the frames book. Yes, children. From first, what we have learned the frames, we shall revise once. First one is Incivility Spider. Yes, in Simmons Spider went up up the swamp. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Up came the sunshine, dried up all the rain. In Simmons Spider went up the swamp again. Yes, very good children. Next we'll go for Baba Machine. Yes, 
Bye. 